Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. Show the host. Here I am. I'm the host of this mess, and I uh, hope you'll be here for the next two hours. I, I don't know, you know, I mean, uh, um, uh, two hours is a large slog for a lot of you. So I don't know. If, you, if you're driving in your car and you pick this thing up, just the audio version of it, uh, which is available on gabnet.net. The audio version is available on uh, iTunes. It's available on TuneIn. Um, you know, if you're in a car and you're driving like to work, maybe, you know, the two hours is, uh, is worth, the, worth the slog. But to a lot of people in this day and age, I mean, they like their podcast short and sweet. Uh <laughs> And nobody is, is, is more aware of that than I, you know. Uh, I think that doing a two-hour uh, nightly uh, broadcast uh, may not be the best idea in the world. Now, let me, let me say that I'm not considering stopping doing the two-hour slog, although I have considered it. I've said, what if I do just an hour? And I go, what if I do just a half hour? <laughs> What if I do 15 minutes? Yeah, well, how many people will we get then? All I know is that for the past uh, week or so, week and a half, I've been doing these little programs every day just for the hell of it. And it, it takes a bit of work to put together. Not much, but it takes a bit of work. And at my age, I get very lazy about this sort of thing. And um, I... Um, uh, uh, had put together this thing called uh, Alex Bennett's Breaking News. I had no other name for it, so Breaking News, because everything on television now is breaking news. You know, you go to CNN, and no matter what the story is, it always says breaking news. It could be, you know, uh, the Salem witch trials happened 200, 300 years ago, breaking news. You know, so, I mean, I everything's breaking news, so I decided to call this breaking news. I have no idea... Uh, I, I couldn't come up with a better title. I, I you know, could have called it Monty Python's Flying Circus or something, but I didn't do that. So anyway, um, I had to come up with a name, and that was the name for it. And all it is is me reading news items that, uh, you know, that I've culled from the day's news that I feel maybe you might have missed or you didn't, you know, or, or you should know about or you should know that these are like the main stories. Um, and usually a lot of them I do the night before. Why do I do them the night before? Because nothing much changes overnight, you know? News never happens at night. It happens in other countries because they're facing daytime at that point. But I, it's been my experience that, you know, if I wake up in the morning and I tune on like MSNBC to see what's happened, I'm really getting stuff that just happened in the last couple of hours. Uh, and there's never a good time to do the news, by the way. Um, every night they do it at 6.30. That's not necessarily the best time to do the news. It might be that, uh, you know, 11 o'clock at night is the best time to do the news because that's the very end of the day, and now you can do all the news that's happened. So I, um, I started doing these shows, these breaking news things, and I, I, put them, I, I do them about, about noon, okay? And they're usually up by about 1.00. Okay, so now I do this little show, two hours a night of this. Uh, and especially at the beginning, the first half hour is something I prepared. Either it's an interview with somebody or I'm, I'm sitting here blabbing at you for the first half hour. I probably should go to the, go to the citizens panel right now. But then again, they wouldn't be there because nobody listens to this first half hour, right? Be honest, you don't listen to the first half hour. All right. And that includes you, Phil. Well, sometimes Phil does. Phil Phil's very loyal. We may hate him, but he's loyal. 
Anyway, where was I? Oh. So I came up with this little thing. I just said, I'll do it, and I want to see how fast I can do it. You know, I don't want it to be long. So it's like a bunch of news items. It's a picture of the day, and it's a, a clip from the last night's program that usually lasts 30 to 45 seconds. And I think the shortest one I've done was the other day. It was like uh, six minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, and yesterday's was a little bit longer. Um, but I find that uh, when I go and look at the amount of people that listen to it, uh, today uh, over, over about 200, and if I include the uh, tune-in and so on, uh, the uh, YouTube uh, version of it, I think a total I've got something like 250 people. And in a given day, you know, with this thing on YouTube, I'm lucky if I if I uh, if I approach, uh, oh, I don't know, a couple, uh, even 150. Sometimes I don't even approach that. So I'm I'm saying to myself now, what's the lesson to be learned here? And the lesson to be learned here is, I guess short is better uh, on the internet. And uh, people seem to be taking to this thing. Uh, my followers are going up and. Uh, uh, it's getting a, an audience, and the one that I do that sits there over the uh, on Monday, which is the only thing I do, hell, I had over 350 people on Monday watching this thing. Now, that's not a lot for the Internet. It's not for a podcast, but for something that's brand new, uh, it's encouraging. But it's also discouraging, because it's discouraging because then you're saying, well, people don't really care about a bunch of people sitting around talking. Then I said to my wife tonight, I said, why should I be doing the uh, the ramble? I mean, when I could be doing this thing, this other thing. And she said, uh, because it gives you something to do. And you know, it's really true. I gotta tell you, I, I can complain about it. Oh, it's two hours long and all of that. But I enjoy talking to the citizens panel. I enjoy just hanging out with some friends. So if that's the purpose, that's the purpose. I just wish it would get a larger audience. But this thing, with these, this breaking news thing, is building an audience. And um, I don't understand it. So I'm, I may put even more work into it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm thinking of ways to take it, keep it, still keep it like no more than eight minutes, no more than eight minutes, but keep it up and then um, uh, just somehow mold it a little bit so it has a little bit more texture and so on and is easier to hear because me reading the news is terrible. I'm a terrible reader of news. I don't know where, why I, you know, I'm, I've been in radio for years and I still haven't learned how to read news. It was the one thing I always did terribly. Um, and, and a lot of times it's because the news that is written is really written for reading. It's not written for saying. So the days of when they used to do news and like United Press International had a radio service, when they wrote it, they wrote it for you to speak it. And they were very much easier to, uh, uh, to read. In other words, for instance, uh, you have a sentence like uh, blah, 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 uh, sources said uh, blah, blah, blah. And, and somehow you wouldn't put it that way in spoken word. You'd say, sources are saying that, you know, not blah, 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 sources said, okay? So it, it becomes much more difficult to, uh, so I have to rewrite all this stuff. I rewrite all of it. Um, mold it and shape it and make it easier for me to read. But still, I'm, you know, but it, 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 I, I would like to do, I would like to make it, even better, you know, and quicker and better. Uh, and then today I ran into a real problem. Uh, you'll hear about it tomorrow on the on the on the breaking news thing because it's a story that I think is funny. But there is this parrot, uh, and he um, and I have the video of it, right? Uh, because it's online. It's on YouTube. Uh, and I, so I, I made a clip of it because I was going to use it tomorrow, but I can't use it because the clip is licensed. There's some company that goes out and says, if you've got a funny little clip, give it to us and we'll go out and promote it and then we'll send you a check for whatever money it makes on YouTube. 
And it was apparent, and I don't want to ruin tomorrow's show for you, but it's, it's kind of one of the oddities in the news. It's a parrot who knows how to talk to her uh, master's echo. And the parrot goes, Alexa, turn the lights on. And Alexa goes, turning the lights on. You know, and it's a very funny clip. Well, I went, I downloaded it, I, I, I cut it up so I, it was really tight. I said, I'll use that tomorrow as my clip instead of the uh, citizens panel. And then I look and it says, uh, licensed by, and there's this company that licenses YouTube clips. So I can't use it. And then I, 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 I got on their site and I signed up for it and I said, let me know how much I, you want for this clip. Because if they want any more than $2 out of me, I ain't going to pay it. But if they want like 2 to $5, I'll do it just to, so you can see it. It's very funny. Uh, but they never got back to me. So what kind of a licensing fucking organization are they? So what would happen is if I ran the thing, then uh, YouTube would tell me, well, you, know, you can't run that because it's licensed. And you go, Jesus Christ, you know? I mean... Even all the stuff on YouTube is being glommed up by these little businesses who are licensing the stuff. But anyway, what I thought I'd do tonight, because I'm lazy and why not, uh, is I would run uh, today's um, uh, breaking news just so all of you can see exactly uh, what it's all about. Uh, and you might want to check it out. Uh, I run it every day. It goes up uh, uh, it's about 1 o'clock our time here in the East Coast. Uh, it goes up on my Facebook page and it goes up on YouTube. It doesn't appear uh, anywhere else. Oh, it's also on the GabNet page as well, gabnet.net. I put it up in the thing up in the corner. And you might want to you might want to check it out. And I thought what I do for those of you who haven't is give you a sample of it. Now this thing is uh, how long is it today? It's about eight minutes and change. Okay. So, you know, you can watch this and you get all the news you need to know and a little bit of me being funny and uh, a funny picture, a very funny picture, and a funny clip, and then uh, we're out and nobody gets hurt. Here we go. Hi, everybody. This is News Break for May 17th, 2018, and I am Alex Bennett. And if you hear some noise next door, it's because they're doing some construction or something, but we'll try and get the news through to you. There's a lot of it to get to today, so let's get going. State-owned Chinese construction companies called MCC Group said last Thursday to formalize plans to develop a theme park in Lido, Indonesia. What does this have to do with us? Hold on. The Trump Organization has existing licensing agreements for other components of the project, like a golf course, luxury hotel, residential development, on these premises. What else does that have to do with us? Didn't the president just say he wanted to bail out the Chinese company ZTE? And isn't it interesting the Chinese government has invested $500 million into this Lido project? You be the judge. By the way, speaking of the president, he revealed his financial disclosure form and said that he reimbursed Michael Cohn for loans between $100,000 and 250000 No word if some of that money was earmarked to pay off Stormy Daniels. While railing against California as a so-called sanctuary immigration state, President Donald Trump referred to some people who crossed the border as animals. Well, he was referring, to be honest with the president, he was referring to uh, uh, criminal groups that come across, but he still called them animals, and you are the president of the United States. You should choose your words wisely. Senate Intelligence Committee said Wednesday it believes the U.S. intelligence community assessment that Russia meddled in the 2016 presidential election to help President Donald Trump get elected was absolutely correct. Rex Tillerson, the former uh, Secretary of State guest speaker at the military, Virginia Military uh, Institute's commencement on Wednesday, said, as I reflect upon the state of our American democracy, I observe a growing crisis in ethics and integrity. If our leaders seek to conceal the truth, or we as a people become accepting of alternative realities, we are no longer grounded in facts and then, as American citizens, are on the pathway to relinquishing freedom. 
Senate Wednesday uh, voted to reinstate the Federal Communication Commission's net neutrality rules, passing a bill that has little chance of advancing to the uh, House, but offers net neutrality supporters and Democrats something to think about for the upcoming uh, fall midterm elections. Michigan State has agreed to pay, get this, a half a billion dollars to settle claims for more than 300 women and the girls who said they were assaulted by sports doctor Larry Nasser in the worst sex abuse case in the sports history. A half a billion dollars from a university. Wow. Those sports must make them a lot of money. Supporters of the nation's strictest abortion law are hoping a lawsuit filed against the Iowa measure will bring the issue back before the U.S. Supreme Court, but constitutional experts say that it's unlikely because of a legal maneuver by abortion rights groups. A woman purported to be the oldest living woman. How old do you think she is? 128, says she hasn't lived a single happy day in her life, and her longevity is a punishment. The Russian government claims Koku Istanbulova is the world's oldest person, but she has bluntly said her longevity was God's will and she did nothing to ever make it happen. And in entertainment news, executives of the Walt Disney Company have disclosed bringing animation, excuse me, can I try this over again? I screw up sometimes. Executives of the Walt Disney Company have discussed bringing animation guru John Lasseter. He's the guy that started Pixar, is the brains before the, behind the whole Pixar uh, uh, phenomenon. Uh, the, well, he was let go a while back because of aggressive hugging or something like that. Well, he's going to be brought back to the company, they believe, in a new role that will reduce his managerial power but allow him to re uh, retain his creative influence. Did I get that story out in one piece? Uh, probably not. Hey, we're glad to have John Lasseter back, a very talented man, and I think that uh, the claims against him were a little over overwrought you like to hug people okay big fucking deal anyway we got a picture for you today as we do each and every day and i uh, is this sexual harassment on the part of architecture uh look closely yeah, yeah see 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 where that woman is sitting okay all right is that interesting i hope so i like that picture thought you'd have fun with it and checking last night's program which happens to be the uh, the ramble, which goes on every night at ten o'clock uh, Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, on uh, we do it actually on YouTube. Uh, well, we had a little discussion. It was a new uh, caller, and his his uh, name is Chris. And Chris uh, uh, has a very interesting background. We were talking about that, and well, this whole line of questioning and discussion came up. Listen. Uh, let me press the right button. The actors, yeah, I love actors, love magicians, I love uh, athletes, ex-baseball players, just do what you can for them. Okay, but yeah. let me ask you a question. Uh, yeah. you, now, I have found over the years of, of dealing with people in show business that mm -hmm. uh, some people in show business, by virtue of their profession, are crazier than others. <laughs> all right? And I always found that the craziest of all the performers that I've known are impersonators and ventriloquists. They're all nuts. Okay. Mm, uh, yeah. did, did you find that uh, there was any particular group, uh, just a, a subset that you worked with that were crazier than others? Um, I don't really work with them, but circus clowns seem to be <laughs> messed up. <laughs> Okay, and that was our uh, citizens panel for last night. A, a, a light moment from last night. Uh, by the way, if you want to find us, we're on at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time at the address you see below you, youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live. The program, if you go to that, you can actually tab the page and put it on your browser at all times, and there's a countdown to the next program. And when we go on the air, it starts playing. You can also see the program after the fact on Facebook. You can see it on YouTube. You can see it on uh, Vimeo. Uh, you can see it on live stream. You can see it on our Roku channel. We're everywhere, and of course, we're also on iTunes. I'm Alex Bennett. That's it for today. We'll see you again tomorrow, same time, 
same bad channel. And that's what it is. That, that is the uh, that is the news break. It's uh, it's simple. It's fast. Uh, and uh, if you want to look at it, it's over there at Facebook, or it's on YouTube, or it's on our GabNet.net page. Posts every day, and we also do it on Monday. We're doing it on Monday too. Uh, so I. I don't know why I give myself extra work. I should give myself less. But anyway, uh, uh, as you can see, it's, it's, it's a work in progress. But um, like that one, I think if I were to criticize it, it was longer than I want it to be. I would like it to be just a tad shorter. Uh, and uh, uh, I don't know if you saw that picture <laughs> that we showed. But uh, it's, it's, it's different. Uh, it, it, it's these little things. They look like dildos, and the woman on the very end is sitting on it. I just thought that was funny. I was looking for something. I got a really nice picture for tomorrow's deal, so whatever. So if you get a chance, you might check in. Uh, how are we doing on it tonight, today? Uh, ta, 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 ta. Let me look over here. Go to Facebook. Um, uh, somebody wrote me something. I don't want to read that right now. Uh, let me see here. Uh, hmm. So, you know, um, uh, uh, maybe some people, oh, since we went on the air, we got some more people, uh, <laughs> got some more people watching it, uh, 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 bringing the total on the Facebook page up well up over 200. Uh, and, uh, you know, they'd even rather watch that than, than me. Anyway, uh, let me see here. What else? Anything else that I've got to that I've got to talk about that is 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 interesting and unusual, uh, and there really isn't that much. You know, I've gotten very tired, believe it or not, of the news, um, and uh, uh, I uh, I turn it on and it's just so boring because. I told you before that the, the news doesn't change much. I was told once, I said to a person, why do we do news on the hour on radio stations? And they said, because people want to know nothing has changed. And I said, oh, I guess maybe that makes sense, you know, that people want to know nothing much has changed. But, man, you tune it in, and you've got, like, you know, uh, Vel Velshi and Rule, and their, their lead story is blah, blah, blah. And then you go to Andrea Mitchell in the next hour, and it's the same story as the lead story. And until something drastic happens, everybody's doing the same goddamn story. You know, and it, it just gets to be very, very boring. So, anyway. Uh, well, Forbin says what? They want a typewriter sound? live from the newsroom <laughs> we used to have this is true folks on radio when when we would do the news every hour we would have a type a, a teletype sound in back of us but the fact is there are no teletypes anymore the, the teletype is a thing of the past the teletype was this machine that we had you licensed it you, you rented it and then you rented the service and upi would like uh, keep sending you news and you would go in and it was called we called it rip and read uh you would always get the hourly headlines and that you would rip it off and then you'd rip the other off and then you'd throw the rest of it away and it was on this huge roll of paper uh and uh then you'd go, go, run in and read the headlines for the hour right and at the end there was a little kicker story you know somebody chased a cat up a tree or something like that uh, you know, and that's uh, that's uh, uh, that's the nature of our uh, of the beast. We don't have teletypes anymore. So if I ran the sound of a teletype in back, I mean, you know something? I don't know, Colossus, if that's not a bad, a uh, good idea, uh, because uh, it would certainly distinguish me from anybody else. And people would say, "What is that noise in back of Alex?" Plus, I've got the building next door. Okay. And while I was doing that thing, I had to do it in a pause between them hammering on the walls. Occasionally, you could hear them hammering or doing something like that. And so if I had the teletype sound in back of me, I got to think about it. It might, uh, might be an answer. Uh, notice how Alex Bennett, uh, Alex doesn't know we're alive. This is why people don't join the live stream. Alex does not understand YouTube live shows because 
he must not watch any. No, I don't watch any, but I do notice that you are chatting, but for me to read the chat, right? I got to turn my head like this and look at it. Oh, look, Billy Bob Joe Jackson says rerun, blah, blah, blah. Uh, then a nice footage of early, uh, 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 of early Walter Cronkite. Uh, he was the first news show I, uh, to use a newsroom set with the writers around him. Yeah, on and on. SG, is this live or Memorax? Well, hi, SG. I hope you called tonight. You were such a pain in the ass the other night. We love you. Uh, analog is back, Alex. Millennials will dig it. Anyway, you know, uh, I can't read it because if I, if I have to read it, it's, uh, if it's really small to begin with. And then it's over here, all right? So if you want to talk amongst yourselves on the chat, talk amongst yourselves on the chat. Knock yourself out, you know? By the way, the lines are open. They have been open for about a minute. I'm just wondering if anybody uh, saw that. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, time for you to all start calling in. Otherwise, I, I, I always hope that no, you know, some, if, if there's a night when I don't have a, a requisite amount of people by, uh, you know, a quarter of, I'm just turning the thing off. But I've never had to do that. So, you know, it's just a threat. I, I don't live up to my threats. But anyway, uh, so start calling us. Time for you to call us live right here our lines are open uh and uh you know i've already talked or played uh, stuff for a half hour already by the way i saw something here what was it a news item that came across that uh, come on come on i want that i want that uh, there we go there was something about um um Clinics uh, that make abortion referrals could lose federal funds under a new White House rule that takes direct aim at Planned Parenthood. So in other words, if you've got a clinic that refers you to Planned Parenthood, they could lose their funding. Now, this is terrible. You know, it's terrible that they, for instance, going after Planned Parenthood. It's called Planned Parenthood. It's not called Abortion Clinic okay or terminate your kid or you know let's let's rip the baby out of your womb that's not the name of it it's planned parenthood and it was set up as a way for people to get affordable uh, birth control to prevent the event of an abortion that the abortion was uh, the last ditch effort to keep you from you know having lots of kids around the house well, nobody's calling, and I'm sitting here blabbing, and I, uh, I, uh, you know, I might live up to my threat. Uh, one more minute, and I'm, I'm calling it quits, okay? I'm just going to stop the show, okay? Because uh, I, I have no idea why nobody is even trying to call. So, And I, I, I hate uh, doing this little tap dance. Oh, waiting for uh, you know people to call, uh, and and it, it eventually we get a lot of people. Uh, uh, let's see here. What's this? What what did Roger Cosman write? If you called, he might let you ask him some questions. What's this? Could we ask you questions? You have a long, long career, and I've listened to so much of your work. That's from Forbin. Okay. Because I have to keep looking over here. If I had it here and it were big and it were prominent, that's fine. But it isn't. It's not on the monitor that I use to do the show. Well, folks, you got another, uh, let's see here, 35 seconds. And then I'm calling it quits for the night. Okay? Uh, because, uh, you know, there's, there's no reason for me to, to, to do this if you're not going to call. Okay? Okay. Uh, because already it's, it's, it's um, getting on 30, uh, 24 minutes of the hour. And usually by now we have at least two callers and we don't have any. So, you know, um, is there something not on? No, it's on. Uh, Gabnet Live is on. Um, well, okay, I can take a hint, folks. 
uh, I don't know who's on and who's not on tonight. Um, I thought Phil would at least call, but I guess Phil isn't going to call. Uh, so I, you know, I, there's no. If I stopped doing the show right now, this would be a short show. All right, and that would probably be ideal. But I'll, I'll wait another couple of minutes here. Doesn't mean I have to say anything. Well, I have to say something for the audio for the people who only listen to the audio. Um, you know. Well, I, I'm really uh, very disappointed in you people, especially my regulars. I have no idea why they're not calling. Is there some kind of problem that I'm having? Let me look. No, I'm not getting any messages from anybody. And uh, uh, certainly, uh, you can call. It's a, I, I'm online. I'm ready to go. This is embarrassing. This is ridiculous. Oh, I guess got to notice there's a Michael Snyder segment tomorrow. Oh, yeah, okay. Anyway, um, hmm. Well, what can I what can I talk about? I don't want mail. How do I stop getting mail here? I don't want my mail at all. I don't want m messages for my mail. Why does it open up all the time and show me my mail? I don't want it. Okay, I don't want mail. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, well, uh, that's it, folks. I'm calling it quits for tonight. That's it. Uh, this is this is you know this is embarrassing. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm amazed. This is this was my this was my uh, nightmare that I would be try go on the air. I said the lines are open. Oh well, here comes someone. Thank God. Wow. Well, let me see here. Oh, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Patrick. Hi. What? I was grabbing it and stabbing it, so I couldn't, I, you know, I couldn't call while I was doing that. Yeah, yeah but why, 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 there's nobody tonight. I mean, this has never happened to me. Yeah, the, the, I, I don't recall this being like this. Yeah. And I don't think there's any. I don't think there's anybody that's dead in the basketball or anything like that. Right. Or even baseball. I mean. And I don't Phil, know. Phil hasn't called us all week. But he but he told me that I think Tuesday and Wednesday were going to be Phil free nights. Right. He he had some photography thing. Yeah, but today's Thursday and he's not there. So you know. Yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. Um. So, uh, you know what I can talk about? I, I, I do have something to talk about. And the reason I can talk about it, usually my wife listens to the show the next day, so she doesn't know certain things uh, until I say them here on the air. Uh. And there's a secret I've been hiding from her. And, but she's not going to work tomorrow, so she's not going to hear the show. So I can tell you the secret. Okay. For the last three days, I've been going to the gym. In, I, actually I, inside the gym? I'm actually inside the gym. I'm on a, on a, on a cycle doing the thing. I'm I'm up to doing 20 minutes. I did about four miles. Oh really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hello, Renee. So hello. I, did you just say you got on a treadmill? No, I didn't say a treadmill. Okay, I'm sorry. You said four minutes for my. No, no, no. On a on a uh, on a bike. I I I've gone to the gym for the last three days in a row, and I'm going to go again tomorrow. I'm going to sneak out when she isn't looking. And Congratulations. Then, and then once I do it, I'm going to say to her, you do realize I've gone to the gym more this week than you have. And she will collapse and pass out. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm but sure you see, will. I can tell you this now because she isn't going to work tomorrow. So she isn't going to hear the show. And, uh, you know, she's always saying to me, well, you know, you're, you're at a plateau with your weight loss. And if you would just work out, you should work out. You should go to the gym. Hey, 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 Jim. Blah, 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 Jim. All I hear is I, uh, just this blabber and then the word Jim somewhere in there, you know. 
Yeah. Well, hang on two seconds. How long have you exactly had this gym, gym membership? About, for what? About four, Six, eight about, years? About four years, yeah. And how many times have you gone in the four-year period? The last three days. Excellent. <laughs> Almost one a year. <laughs> well, you know something? i got to tell you something, uh, and uh, to be honest about it. Uh, it's kind of intimidating uh, because uh, I... You know, everybody there is so serious about being a gym rat. You know, they're, if they're there at 3 o'clock in the afternoon or 2 o'clock in the afternoon working out, they got to be zealots, right? And I'm, I'm little me with my spindly little legs uh, going uh, on a bicycle and pedaling like crazy. And then maybe I'll do a couple of the lifty things. I do stuff for my legs so I can help with this, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, torn meniscus uh, and uh, you know but I've always I, I wanted to go down there I felt maybe I should but I didn't because I just felt it would be intimidating and I found out that nobody really gives a shit not even the people Excellent. that work there they don't give a shit they just say oh That's you got true. your card beep you know uh, by yep. the way, do you have towels? You can buy them. Okay, how much? Five dollars. Take one. Oh. Okay, I now own Is a towel. Is that what they are in New York City? Yeah, five dollars five for a towel. Five bucks a towel? Shit. Gym. No, you're not. <laughs> I said, do I get to keep this? They said, oh, no, that's yours. And for five bucks, oh, that's oh, yours. Oh, you're buying an actual towel. I'm okay, buying yeah, an they don't want it back. Towel. All right, that makes sense. But congratulations. You know, so, so, okay, so... I have been doing yoga for three weeks, or actually a month now, in, in yeah. preparation to actually getting some cardio. And once I hit the four-week mark, I'm going to go out and treat myself to something. What are you going to treat yourself to tomorrow when you hit your four-day mark? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, come on, you should do something nice for yourself. What, what and include fun? Marjorie in it. Oh, I'll go out and buy myself a, a, a Cadillac. How's that? <laughs> no, no, no. So because you're bounding to do something to nice for wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do something nice for Marjorie. Why? I'm the one doing the fucking working out because she's been nagging me into it for years now. Get her something. Bullshit. She should get me something. Yeah, no, you're not. Yeah. Oh, sure. Let me take Marjorie's side on this one. Anybody? But I found <laughs> that it, it, I found that I'm doing. I'm I'm not pushing myself. You know, I go in there. I do 20 minutes on the bike. I do a couple of the other machines, and I get out of there. And I'm not setting any big goals for myself. Just enough that you know, I'm I'm working out. And you know, so 20, you 20 minutes on a bike, I get I break into a sweat. So you know, I go. What is You're this moisture? I have no idea what this moisture <laughs> is. Your cardiologist is loving this. No, my Good cardi job. my cardiologist doesn't give a shit. He just cares that I come once a year and give him some money. You know. Oh, well, that you show up. Doctors actually. don't I mean, get. I honestly believe doctors do not give a shit. I have a urologist. He doesn't give a shit. Come back and see me in six months. We need to check that pH thing, PFH thing, or whatever. <laughs> you know, and. Uh, Whatever. Hello, Phil. Speaking of prostates, where have you been? We've been waiting. I was embarrassingly sitting here waiting for people to call. Uh, you know, uh, I forgot my Apple ID and I turned the damn computer off. But I, uh, I, I, I wanted to I wanted to welcome you in, in a New York fashion that you'd really enjoy. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you forgot your Apple ID? Yeah, you know, you can't use any of the usual suspects uh, over and over. You know, you can't use it. So I went to change it. And then there must be two different email addresses in there with Apple. You know, and you, know you know, my feeling about this is, and, and, and please slap me on the wrist if I'm wrong. If I want somebody to steal my stuff and don't care enough to change my password then let me not have to change my password. And if I want to use the one I've been using forever, and uh, don't tell me, well, you've used that before, now you have to change it to it. Fuck you, it's my password, it's my account, and if I want to have it uh, compromised, that's my business. That's why, fuck me, fuck you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I actually have fucking one of my passwords. Where is it? 
It says about fucking time 2018. Yeah. yeah, that's one of my passwords because I just got so mad. Well, for years about having to change it all the time. For years, the most common <laughs> password was password, but now they've gotten into this whole deal about you know, oh, you've got to be super secret with your password, and we're doing everything we can to prevent you from. Fuck you! I still get fucking big titted broads on the on Facebook messaging me or wanting yeah. to be a friend when I go down one friend, you know. Hookers yeah. coming at me. I have uh, Facebook. I get you've gotten some, Phil. I'm sure. Uh, oh where yeah. I, I got one from you, in which it said you got to use this. This is really good, and it's from Phil. But it, Phil didn't send me anything. What's Facebook doing about that? Fuck my password. It could be password if I want it to be. Exactly. I Ex agree. Hello, so, Rob. Hey there. What's going hey, on? Rob. Yeah, Are you still in Nashville? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, you know, there's a downtown in the music area in Nashville. There's a, a couple of bars that have upstairs outside upstairs where you can overlook the river and watch the river boats run up and down and drink your beer. And yeah, yeah, I've seen any of those yet. Uh, not this trip. This has been captive. Are you mandatory? At the well, yeah, we're at the Opry land. We're at the Gaylord. Yeah, the Gaylord. They, you yeah. can get lost. You know, there are, we've had conventions there, and we still have there. members that have been lost for the last 14 years. Uh, <laughs> it's huge. Place. And there's, it a, there's a river large... that runs through it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a just even cool. a radio station there. Yeah, WS M. Some, yeah, WSM is, a, I think that's the station that uh, the Grand Ole Opry was on. That's right. right. Yeah. They and have studios downstairs. Right. I don't remember seeing that, but yeah, uh, they're, they're glassed, they're glassed, in. glassed in. Yeah, but now, it's a very large. Yeah, but now, now, area. now, WSM does the Grand Ole Opry, and they have an internet version of it that's three minutes long. <laughs> See, now we're back to six, three minutes shorter than your six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to be happy till I've got a one minute show. That's going to be my goal, a one-minute show. Yes. So every woman just went, yeah, we know you like to keep it short. Well, you've got the 30-minute Marjorie. Now, you know, it's going to be the one-minute Alex. Oh, yeah. Patrick understood that joke. Why? Why? It's, it's yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Patrick. That was good. That was good. It's just like, seriously, we want it longer, you want it shorter, but you want to brag about it being longer. I'm not getting into this discussion because it's so obvious about what you're talking about. You're talking about huge penises. Uh, yeah, we're talking about the length of the show. Yeah, we are talking about the length of your show. My wife, when she watches shows, especially on HBO, goes, I think I just saw penis. That's her, that's her big deal. She try, find, it's, it's Marjorie playing Find the Penis. It's all over the internet. How is it lost? Well, no, I, that, that, that's porn, but this isn't porn. It's HBO. There you go. Uh, well, is that their I, new slogan? It's not porn. It's HBO. Well, haven't you seen that thing that somebody did in which uh, the it, it was it, it was like uh, somebody saying, "Oh, I just did this thing where I did this, and the woman did that, and we did this, and we did that, and." Then another person says, and then I did this thing where I did this and that. I've been working as an actor and doing this and that. And then they go back to each of these people and they go, you're working porn. And they go, no, it's not porn. It's HBO. <laughs> go online. It's a very funny, funny piece. One of the funniest pieces ever. And, the, and it's the slogan, it's not porn, it's HBO. <laughs> well, uh, on another note... Oh, God, uh, he's going to he's, he's take us into a ditch. Yeah, I went to a very nice lecture on uh, reefs and reef uh, identification and things like that. <laughs> oh, me, go right uh, ahead, Phil. Gonna, on it, Tuesday, I went to the Throckmorton, and I saw your friend uh, uh, Bob Rubin, mm -hmm. and we chatted for a while, and he said that he that. liked to call in to the show. And I said, if you do, just make sure you engage the, the people that are there because they're going to sit there like lemmings and just, you know. Uh, now, wouldn't Ruben be one of those people that Alex interviews? He, yeah, Alex but he wanted, to interview. he wanted to 
he wanted to call in like a regular guy. Yeah, but uh, we, we yeah. I, no, I had him on uh, as kind of a regular rotation with Pearl and uh, mm-hmm. uh, and and uh, uh, Durst and uh, uh, Bubbles. Uh, but one thing uh, to uh, or another happened, and he was n- it, his I don't know his computer broke or something or whatever. Call him. Yes, his computer's working. It, it, oh, it is working now. Well, he uh, never. Not, he why doesn't he, he write me in. and say I'm? It's working now. Call me. Okay, don't stand on ceremonies. Well, no, no, he, but I mean, I don't have want to have to keep chasing him. You know, I really well, am he said serious. He's interested in, in calling in. He wants to be on the panel. Well, I said. But if you do, no. you got to engage no, because that, we just that, sit that, there no. like lemmings. No, that would be. Oh, no, that would Ruben be, would take over the he show. He would take over the show. Would not be. A yeah, no idea. shit. You think I dominate the show? <laughs> Ruben would be all over that thing. Yeah. And then but last, it would be fun. It last would be night fun. I came in second. Son of a. Aww. This woman. Thank uh, God you finally fucking came in second Aww. with your fucking yeah, photographs. Well, the, the, your eighty-year-old the, photographs that you took, and then you you. No, they're not that old. Uh, nothing's older than maybe four years But uh, that I've submitted. Uh, anyway, this woman had went to an African safari, and she had this picture of these giraffes uh, in nature. So I had a humpback whale. You know, it was a nice, clear picture, but she had these giraffes. And uh, the guy was more interested in the description that you posted with it rather than uh, the picture itself. He says, oh, it's a very nice picture, but, you know. So it you didn't describe. win last night. How many weeks in a row have you won? Uh, many. This uh, is about photographic camaraderie, not about winning. Who the fuck do you think you are, Donald Trump? Yeah. Uh, you know, or uh, what's that uh, that actor, the Two and a Half Men guy that was always winning? Winner, Charlie winner, chicken Sheen? dinner? Yeah. Oh, uh, 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 Sheen. Yeah, that's it. Mar- uh, Martin Sheen's kid, uh, I forget. It. Yeah. So let's Charles. see the photo that came in second, Phil. Since you got it uh, there. Well, they take it uh, if uh, first and second go to another judging. Mm-hmm. So they keep it until uh, uh, it gets judged, and then they bring it back. Gee, we got a nice citizens panel now. I didn't think anybody was going to call tonight. Then Patrick came <laughs> to my rescue, and he was he was he, he was taking a a piss in the unique way in which he takes a piss. And he he sped it up just so that he could uh, could get on here. So I thank you for that. Uh, I was on hold with Apple, and finally uh, I. Gave how up are you on, on hold with Apple? Can't you just you do know your name for your account, don't you? There was it, it's it, a password thing. Going is on, really well. uh, it, either it's the wrong email address. I don't know what it is, but it, it's a pain in the ass. I'm going to call Apple later or tomorrow, and just have them straighten it all out. Get rid of everything that's there that shouldn't be there oh okay what and up? yeah Rare. apple's tech support is nice i and have then, to admit then i realized all i got to do is get a post-it note put it on the back of my uh, uh trackpad mm-hmm. and that'll have my sign-in thing gee and then we'll it gee phil <laughs> really <laughs> Well, you know, well, Phil, they only, password no, there's managers one problem for Macs. No, wait a minute. There's one problem with passwords. Oh, hi, by, by the way, hi to Kevin. Kevin has joined us. Uh, uh, Hello. Here is the thing. All, how many different passwords do you have for how many different things? And I used to have the same. Many. Wait a minute. I used to have the same. What, Rob, you were saying, not you? I didn't say anything. Oh, I thought you, I thought you did. I, um, uh, I used to have the same password for everything. Same password yeah. for everything, but then all of a sudden they go, "You got to change the password," and you go, "Well, I'll change it." Here's the old one. Here's the new one, and the old one was the same as the new one. They went, "You can't do that," so I added a zero to it, right? Yeah. And and then it got to a point where now everything I, I have has underwear. a different has a different password. Where before I knew what the fuck it was going to be, <laughs> and so now I have to have a I have a, a, a in my notes in uh, in. Uh, uh, on Apple, I, I have all my passwords kind of typed in there somewhere, and I usually can find it that way. But God damn it, I just want to use one fucking password. I want to use Alex as an asshole, let's say. And why don't you just, just why, don't, why what? do you lock your apartment? Just leave it wide open. Why don't <laughs> why don't I don't you know something? <laughs> he does. I don't. I really don't give a shit about the door. To tell you the truth, it's girlfriend who goes. You left the door unlocked. 
I, so well, I mean, that's basically that's what you're doing is digitally not locking your door and you're giving people the ability to steal everything you got. Well, I know I have a special email address and a it's its own password for uh, stuff that I consider to be primary. OK, oh, like okay. I will never use Alex at for anything serious. Oh, OK. okay. It's different. But I have another address I use uh, that is not as accessible uh, that for like, you know, PayPal, things like that. That's the one I use so that I, I you know, I. So you have keep... one password for all of your financial stuff. So no, if no, it's on the no. dark, if it's on the dark web, everything is wide open to somebody. And if they get it and they know about you. Before you even realize it, they'll no, take I mean, everything you got. No, my PayPal, my PayPal, for instance, password and address are different than any of the other addresses and passwords. Uh, uh, certain other things, they, I have different ones. I mean, it, it I, uh, on the stuff where there maybe is some financial thing going on, I am a little more careful about that. Alex, but, I'll just post it. Post your password on the chat so you don't have to worry about forgetting it. Yeah, my my password is asshole seventy four. Right. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. I have to write that down. Save it. You know, it's probably but, being used by others. But <laughs> yeah, well, no, you, passwords you can use passwords other people use. Yeah, I know. You know, I, you could give me your password. I could use your password as my password. It wouldn't matter. I can't remember my password. Bosco. <laughs> What I, you know, when I first went on the internet, it said, uh, "And what name do you want to use for your account?" And you go, Alex, yeah. B, right? And they go, "Fine, thank you." Now, how many years later, I go Alex B, and they go, "Sorry, we already have that." Okay, Alex B, <laughs> forty underscore. No, we already have that forty-one. Would you like, you know, 42, 43, 44? No, I mean, there's virtually no name you can use on the Internet that isn't already being used. You know what I find? I what? find that I will go to a website and I'll say, oh, I'm going to sign up for this. And I go and I put in my email address or what I want to use as a username. Yeah. And I find out that I already have an account there. That happens to me so frequently that I didn't even re remember that I had signed up for it. Yeah. 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 So I mean, yeah, it, it's it's a pain in the ass. It really is. And I and, was I was yeah. guilty of turning off my computer, and uh, because there was something on the screen, uh, some uh, office thing that I couldn't get rid of, and because uh, I couldn't remember the password for the office thing, so uh, I wanted to get rid of it, and it, it wouldn't go away. It kept asking me for the key number. It, it didn't like the key number that I had. I, oh. I own Office 365 at the store, and I have like 10 uh, uh, abilities to uh, that I could put it on 10 different computers. and But I don't remember what the password was or the key. or And so anyway, this thing wouldn't go away. Well, Rob knew at least one of my passwords because he had to use it to go uh, get the music. But now... He has his own account because I'm paying the extra 49 bucks a year to get f four other people on there. So, Well, you've oh. shared over the years between me doing a show on GabNet and audio blocks and stuff, you've shared a few different passwords. And they're not the most secure passwords. I mean, yeah, the but they're also, also the things, the situations yeah, in which they're going to be used are not uh places that i care whether somebody has the password or not you know um and if there is some kind of compromise i just change the password and let all you guys know i've changed the password like on right. log me in or uh, yeah. something else Th that's pretty simple rob you know I, and actually we've never had a problem with it so you know because nobody can remember any no, of the passwords yeah, nobody gives a shit about what we're doing here nobody well. wants to be me Okay, should I feel insulted because nobody wants to steal my identity? Really, that's your problem for today? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, um, hey, I, I, I mean, is there a woman running around out there who feels a little insulted 
that Larry Nasser never tried to play around with her vagina? Yeah, I'd be surprised. Going, What's wrong and with I, me that he didn't want to play around with my vagina? Yeah, we don't think that way. Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> Renee, I heard the volcano uh, had a super eruption today. That's what the news said. Okay, number one, it was wasn't a super eruption. But no, that's stupid. Super. Uh, that, that, it doesn't that, matter. <laughs> believe it or not, since his prostate operation, that topic consumes him. Yeah, okay. oh, the eruption. Okay. <laughs> it's I, I was thinking I about saw it on eruption, CNN. It was fake news. Uh, yeah. It, so here's the deal. Uh, we had an ash eruption on the top of the volcano, yeah. um, which is what I've been calling the blowhole. What I didn't realize is just a mile south Maybe of that, that's what you call a blowhole, but I have <laughs> something maybe. else I call a blowhole. It's the crater top. Um, <laughs> so a little bit further south from there, there's actually another area where it's all venting from too. And then it goes down to all the fissures closer to the water. So. There's two, and last night, or this morning, so what happened was, is this morning about 3.30, I started he hearing helicopters over the house, or a flight pattern. For some strange reason, there was a flight pattern created. And I heard four or five helicopters and an airplane and all sorts of shit, and I'm like, okay, this is really strange. It's not whale season. It's not light outside. I don't know what's happening. Um, so I started looking around and it turns out that there was an ash plume. It went up to the, about the 30,000 foot mark. Right. And the reason why the helicopters were running this direction of the island is because the ash plume, plume was, fate, was uh, chasing them. So well, yeah. that's why I got woken up because they had a different flight pattern. But it, it's, it's nice that it's doing this, this is not even the end, people. We're not even, we don't even have an idea if we're even the halfway there. So this is gonna continue. Um, and right now, I, everybody please ask the trade winds to come back because right now all of the ash and all of this stuff is being blown and By the way, up. If, you, if you haven't heard this program before, um, um, uh, Renee calls us from Stockton, California. So there you go. <laughs> uh. Could have said a little more. Um, so our our air quality is really bad at this point, but it's only really affecting this island in Maui. As soon as the trade winds kick in, which are supposed to be later tonight, you're not even going to know that we had a volcano a volcanic eruption again. Well, trades so. kick in around you know, one o'clock. It, it, I've been watching it on TV, uh, mm -hmm. and, and there are people who live nearby, but not close enough to be in danger. Okay. So they're standing there uh, looking out on their veranda at this wonderful thing of nature going on out there, the smoke and the lava and all of that. I think it's, that, I think it's it, the sulfuric acid that... Uh, well, yeah, but they're not even close enough to take in. The, you have to be pretty close to get in, to get the sulfuric oh, acid. Shit's going up 30,000 feet. It's got to okay. up. Those yeah, but it goes so straight up and it comes down. to Jim. So before Jim wasn't James from Hilo and his it's wife me. and all of his pugs weren't in trouble. They're yeah. not in trouble now. The problem is is that because the trade winds won't kick in, some of the, the uh, definitely the ash came his direction. Mm -hmm. Some of the sulfur, he's too far away to well, have how gotten close, the how close is How close is James Lee to the, to the event? Not the, he's, he's about 20 miles, I thought. How much? It's about 30 miles, he said? He's, he's not he's not that he's not that close but he's not that far as a crow flies he's pretty fucking close yeah. as distance goes driving to get to it it's, yeah it's now how far right. are you in comparison is the crow oh flies? i'm free i'm really far i'm on the other end of the island yeah now are there any volcanoes out where you are that could go off yeah the mauna Kea is he's the you know how i always turn the camera and say those are the observatories yeah yeah, that's uh, still that volcano is not extinct. That is an active volcano. Wait a minute, volcano. they built they built observatories on top of a volcano. Are they out of their fucking mind? Five. They built a geothermal <laughs> plant on the one that's blowing up. Yeah, and did you see that, Kevin? So I was thinking about you on this. So what happened was is somebody, uh, I have no idea, we won't go into that conversation, built a geothermal plant in a zone one area, which to me is 
stupid. It's this ridiculous. whole island is an active volcanic da 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 you could have drilled all the way up here and been a whole lot by safer. the way volcanic ba da da is a technical term right yes yeah it's a zone it's <laughs> that would be zone six or seven a volcanic uh, the danger zones are one and two so what they did was the governor was here one day and said what are you doing about all the chemicals in this plant and they said we're working on it and then within 24 hours the governor had trucks going into that place to remove the harmful gases and to bring them up our direction. But he was like, yeah, nope, you know what? That's not good enough. It, it's going to be done. It's going to be done in the next 48 hours. And and he did it. And so now, uh, I think it was Fisher 19 that opened up. It's like within a quarter of a mile of the plant. There was, I saw containers of xylene and pentane. Mm -hmm. Pentane. And stuff that blows up when you breathe on it. Yep, pentane. They took I mean, out containers like containers of that stuff. Oh what they, yeah, no, what do they you, do yeah. with that stuff uh, that they needed for a geothermal plant? Well, Probably they produce it from the from uh, the uh, methane and stuff. Well, it's the rate right they're produced. going, they're going to have the thermal part down pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah, but it was it's kind oh, of yeah. it, it's ignorant the to have that there. It yeah. really is. But you were should have been impressed with the way the governor came in and said no. <laughs> that's not how it's going to work and it's oh, yeah. going to be done in 48 hours and to his credit it was done in 48 business hours yeah, said, yeah well, I, I, I saw him around. moving the containers out of there and I'm going oh yeah I've seen them containers before and, and they were moving them out of there like boom 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 and now there's just a well don't say boom boom blows. boom it's all vapors yeah well now they're having to uh, kill some of the well wells which yeah. I don't quite understand what that is but well, they're, they're they're going to have they have to purge them all, but yes. they're not going to be able to purge them because they got gas in them, and they're just well, going to have to blow. How close are the is that thermal nuclear thermo geothermal geothermal, geothermal. Plant. Well, they uh, basically they're they're tapping all the gases that come out of it. So yeah, they're but they don't in need it. to be that close. They didn't yeah, need to be in a zone two or a zone three. They could have been in a zone four, five, six, or seven. And this, by the but, way, let's let's mention this is a volcano that's an active volcano. It's been yeah. an active volcano for years. It has blown before, years. like thirty years ago. Mm -hmm. And yet people go, Oh, it blew thirty years ago. What are the chances it will blow up ever again? I think I'll build my house right on the side of it. So yeah, let's and talk what they're about doing is they're 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 tapping the energy out of that volcano with this right. plant, and and it's the same thing as building a water plant on top of a you know a, a, a well. It's the same thing. They're pulling all the all the gases and yeah, the but, and the, the. But they didn't need the to do it right out. there. They didn't need to put it in that zone. It What's didn't need to be in a well, zone. Well, that's where they get the best buck bang for their well, buck for, from it. For, for Christ's sakes, this whole island is a volcano. Again, I mean, bang got, for their buck. I mean, there isn't a term we don't use that doesn't have some kind of relevance exactly to what, what we're discussing. exactly what they get is a big bang. Yeah. It's a really big bang. Yeah, yeah. So somebody's trying to blow off the south end of our island, but James is, if, if so I asked Alex seriously with James and his wife and the dogs, if they need to contact me, they can come on up without a problem because they're it's getting it's getting too close. I have an idea. If you live that close to it and you need a place to stay, you can come stay with me. In New York City. Hey, uh, it's only eight. Do the dogs have problems? Head for the Panama Canal. Is, yeah. You know, do the dogs have problems? Yeah, you know, even though James and his wife might not have problems because, you know, they have bigger lung capacity, I would imagine that the pets would have more issues uh, be, because of that. And Right, and the ash goes to the ground, so that means that they're more susceptible to the ash and the silica and all the rest of that stuff than the humans are. Yeah, so yeah. It, it becomes problematic. Well, you become a real expert them. on this, haven't you, Renee? No, I'm not even close. I'm not even using real word, real adult words for this. <laughs> so no. But you sit there, you watch, you, you, you sulfur watch. Sulfur dioxide. The sulfur dioxide hits the 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 mucus in your lungs and turns into. No, we, uh, I, I always uh, yeah. not sulfur. Uh, uh, what did you call it? Sul Silica. It turns into silica. Uh, silica. Silica. That, that could affect the uh, what is it uh, called? Facility or something in the in the lungs that 
that signal yeah. your brain that it's time to take a breath. Facilia is pasta. Yeah, oh, facilia is pasta. Know, there's something in the there's a there's like a little hairs in the lung it's called olfactor. Olfactor. Silly. Yeah, it tells your cilia. body to back off. Yeah, yeah. no, there, there's a, another word for it too. It's like cilia. Cilia. Yeah. Cilia. And uh, so anyway, that that's what signals you to take a breath. And uh, if you get carbon dioxide, I guess, in there. Boy, is this uh, a scientific show now. Yeah. Well, the sulfur dioxide can drop you. Uh, it, it, Kevin, how quickly can it kill you? If you took a big uh, breath of it? A thousand parts per million. Oh, well, shit. That'll drop you. Well, yes, Patrick. Yeah. I, I remember when I was on Kilauea, they were explaining during the tour to stay where you're at. Do not go by any of the fissures or anything because of all the sulfur. Because, and the, um, the tour guide was explaining that it's very rare, but there, are, there had been deaths of tourists who were stupid enough to wander away from the group and they look down into the fissure and all that fucking sulfuric acid uh, or uh, sulfur yeah. gas and it just it they're gone turn, that's what turns into it turns into sulfuric acid when you breathe it in because it's, of the it's also known as as another thing it's called thinning out the herd yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what now we uh there's a i guess the volcano is was it haleakala uh mm -hmm. it's at ten thousand feet and mm -hmm. I, I went up there on a motorcycle, and uh, I saw people sitting in the parking lot. They couldn't breathe because the the altitude. Uh, they, That's the oxygen. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't get. This. That's altitude sickness. Hey, yeah. you know what else you don't do there? What? You don't pick up a rock and put it in your pocket because the devil will follow you down. Oh, huh? well, you know the, the other thing is, is you know, you see the tree line, yeah. and you see where uh, it, yeah, it's know, pretty it's, distinctive. It, 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 it's another, we, it's another travel log from Phil. Go ahead, Phil. Well, no, it's true. You know, you, when you're going up that high, uh, like the volcano, yeah. uh, you know, you get to a certain point and the, and the tree line is there and it just stops and uh, there's yeah. nothing, up, nothing above it, just yeah. a little bit of scrub. Yeah. Yeah. You ever gone up Pikes Peak? Same thing. Yeah. Yep. Jay's funny. Yeah, I've nice never comments. noticed that. Patrick, put your hand up. up. Uh, Kevin reminded me of something. Um, my the gal that I went with and then my, my buddy and his wife, um, we all ended up splitting after we went to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And his wife got divorced and I broke up with the gal I was with. Mm -hmm. And what happened is my buddy's ex-wife was is probably still is very superstitious and believes in all of that stuff. And I forget where we were at. But she had taken some of the black sand. I forget which which beach it was where all the turtles are at. Um, and I think it was on the North Shore somewhere on Oahu. And she took some some of the sand. And they tell you you don't want to do that because right the Ugabugas. And then as soon as her marriage started falling apart, she'd like, oh my God, I should have never taken this. And it's like you know. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I put one, I put one uh, in my I'll pocket. You, uh, yeah. I put and the guy said, "Oh, don't do that." The god from wherever, the Hagalyaki god, will put. I threw that sucker down on the ground faster than I put it in my pocket. Well, I think I beat all of you in this discussion. May I throw my little piece of uh, of information? I am the only one here who has had a friend who died by falling into a volcano. And you okay. pushed him? Huh? You pushed him? No, no. We don't know whether he, he jumped or whatever. His name was Doug Kenny. He was uh, the, one of the guys that started the National Lampoon. And he died by falling into a volcano hmm. in Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, he was trying to get that really good photo. And uh, they, he leaned over too far. They have no idea. They think he may have committed suicide. Really? They believe that is a possibility. Oh. But, you know, I know somebody who actually died from falling into a volcano. Now it wins. I win. Yep, you yeah. win. Fuck. Well, his friend lost. Yeah. Did they get him out or just leave him? I don't, think, I don't know if they ever found him. 
Uh, if you if you if you have uh, what is it? Is it Hulu? Yeah, they've got a documentary on the history of the National Lampoon, and the end of it is Doug Kenny uh, falling into the you know into the volcano. They found I think they found his shoes up there or something, and that's why they knew he was there. But he wasn't there anymore. You know. Well, I, oh. As soon as you said that, I keep thinking of um, Temple of Doom, where they lower those people down into the lava. Yeah. You know, I mean, I guess jumping, you know, I guess if you're looking for a guaranteed way to die and <laughs> quickly, that would be it. That would do it. That would do it. Well, I'm, I can I, either put a gun in my mouth or um, do a carbon dioxide poisoning, but hell, that, that's pretty much a guarantee right there. I mean, jumping off the Brooklyn Bridge isn't even a guarantee. Uh, you're right. Francisco, oh, I know. know. Well, I, uh, again, uh, as long as we're having this discussion, I'm probably the only guy here that knows somebody who jumped off the Brooklyn Bridge. His name was Tuli Kupferberg. He was one of a group called the Fugs. He was also a poet here in New York City. And Tuli always used to like to tell me the story about the day he was so depressed he went out to the Brooklyn Bridge and he jumped. And he, I said, what happened? Well, obviously he didn't die. Uh, he says, I landed in the water, and I found out I was still alive. I said, so what did you do? He says, I swam to shore and went home. <laughs> you know, knowing you might be fatal. Huh? <laughs> knowing you might be fatal. Yeah, it could be. It could be. I'm the, I'm the reason for many suicides. Yeah. <laughs> I would think that I would leave that distinction to you, Phil, because you were, you're enough to make anybody want to, you know. Well, uh, you know. I was. I listened to your little six-minute, seven-minute thing, and it's, it's fake news. You know, the, all of it's fake news. Oh fake no, news. he didn't do that. <laughs> I was thinking, oddly enough, of calling it fake news. But That'd be then, a good idea. But no, but then everybody would expect like parody and me no, making no. jokes about you know me me coming up with false items and things like that. And you do. Wait a minute. What do you mean I do? What was yeah. fake about my news? Well, you you read it from a certain perspective, you know. I uh, the other day, yes, I actually, my tongue is in this cheek, right about here. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, fake news—that would be a good one. Actually, that would be good clickbait no, but too. You to see, get but no, but, to, no, but then people—I'm sure somebody's already doing it. Okay, but Alex problem, Bennett's the, fake the, news. The problem is, I'd have to work too hard to make it fake news. You know, just report the liberal news; it'd be fake news. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we should get a more authoritative voice than mine to announce it. I should I should send the script every day to Rob. You know, your price is right. <laughs> <laughs> it would come out at night. It wouldn't come out during the day. Well, Rob now has a uh, has a subscription via me to to our music library. So go do something with it, Rob. He's got to go home. Yeah, oh, but he's he's got his own. He's got. His When's own. your flight tomorrow morning? No, I have a two-hour meeting tomorrow, and I could leave for the airport about twelve thirty tomorrow. I bet you're going to be so glad to be home after all those meetings. Oh, I am so looking forward to getting out of here. Did you learn anything? I learned a lot. I I also learned that I just hate being around fifteen hundred people for four days and nights. Oy. I'm not a crowd person. Yeah. What's that? You learned how to get to the convention center from your room. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's it's, it's, I'm putting. I'm doing ten thousand steps a day, and I'm sitting for yeah. eight hours. <laughs> yeah. it, it's a big place. I agree. Oh, with that. It's huge. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, uh, hello to Tim. Hello, Tim. Good evening, Alex. I got a. I got a name. Is that instead of fake news? Yeah. Fake. Either fakeless. Or an unfake, just the opposite. Because that's it's a stretch. Kind of John right. Oliver style. Uh, yeah, yeah, what about it isn't catchy? But it's, Faux news. It's not catchy. Uh, I think calling it breaking uh, news because work. everything is breaking news on CNN is yeah. probably the. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. MS, MSNBC just replaced their banner, and it, now it says, "What did Trump do now?" Well, there you I, go. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I have an item. On tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow, I probably uh, shouldn't ruin it for everybody, but I have a quick item on tomorrow's uh, breaking news, and this is worth 
questioning. They have gotten, they finally over at Fox, gotten somebody to be the head of Fox News. Who did they pick? Uh, her name was Suzanne something. I can't remember her name now, but it's a woman. Okay. They're born, wow. you know. Uh, well, of course, you would have they're to. They're overcompensating. They're overcompensating, but now at least men can complain about a woman molesting them. So anyway. The thought uh, that she would want to touch any of those horrific men over there would know, be disgusting. Well, you know, that Hannity's a, a, a hunk. <laughs> Uh, no. Anyway, he's, uh, uh, God, his head is like the size of cheese. Have you seen look, that? It does look like it's a block of cheese. Thing. Yeah, you're right. But anyway, uh, she is going to be in charge of, of matriculating or changing Fox News into the new Fox News. Whatever that is going to be. I have no idea, but they, they are actually formulating a plan for a new Fox News. They're going to call it Foxy News. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, <laughs> I, bump. but I have no idea what new Fox is going to be. It's probably like new Coke, you know, and then eventually they'll go back to the regular Fox. Uh, yes. It'll be good for a minute and all fizz out. Yes, Patrick. Yeah, but I, I told you guys a couple weeks ago their, their tagline had changed now to real news and real opinion. Yeah, I heard that. They're they're already admitting that they they do report news, but they're an opinion based organization. So that's probably where they're going to continue on on that path, where they will report, but it is it's just like Rush Limbaugh. I mean, he'll report real news, but after he does that. It's, Opinion. Well, I mean, to begin with, all of these networks uh, uh, at night are really opinion shows. You know, oh. Hannity is an opinion show. And he, he says, I'm not a newsman, and he's not. He's an opinion guy. Uh, and uh, the same thing is true with Tucker Carlson, you know. and But during the day, they actually they do news. I mean, they've got, you know, um, what's his name, Shep, uh, Shepard Smith, who I think is pretty good, actually. Um, all, all the men are all the men on Fox are creepy. No, uh, Shepard Smith isn't creepy. And Shepard is maybe the one, Brett, one exception. Brett Bear isn't yeah, creepy. Yeah, I, I agree with him. All but sh he's the only. Brett, Brett, you know, yeah, but all the women are hot as shit. Yeah, but okay. there's only be anywhere near those men. Creepy ass men is so, to pay you a lot of money. I just started getting Fox News on the Roku. And uh, uh, I don't get the live thing. Well, it says it's live, but it, it seems like recorded clips. And it just uh, goes, you know. I think uh, they do have a live feed on there somewhere if you go looking for it. Yeah. I know that uh, today I was uh, uh, at the gym. Oh, gee, I could say I was <laughs> at the gym. And I had More my. More fake news. See, my wife won't even know about this <laughs> yeah. till Monday. But anyway. Uh, uh, I was at the gym and I was I wanted something to look at while I was pedaling away, going nowhere. Okay, and uh, I put on uh, CNN Live, and you can just you can do CNN Live. You can probably do MSNBC Live. You can do all those. They always have some kind of a live feed in there. So yeah. if you just look, you probably find it. Well, any anyway, I, I hadn't watched Fox News in I don't know since I got rid of cable. Mm -hmm. and the TV mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's the polar opposite of CNN which is what I've been watching uh, and you know the stories that they cover and the pundits they'll have six uh, Republicans ganging up on one liberal and uh, as in comparison to CNN or CBS where they have uh, one Republican being ganged up on 10 Actually, by 10 you know I find that if we're going to talk about dishonesty Okay, mm -hmm. the, uh, I think most of the people here would agree that Fox is pretty dishonest. I mean, it's it's slant, it's Where slanted it's slanted news. Okay, well it's slanted. Okay, no, wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish what I'm yeah, saying, but, Phil. But, please, I'm trying to make a point here. But I find MSNBC just as slanted the other way. I want right. something that isn't slanted. Give me a newscast that isn't slanted. The thing about Fox that aggravates me is, okay, we know they're slanted, yeah. but the term fair and balanced is oh, not. That guy's not, gone. Yeah, that, supposedly that's gone. They yeah, but they used that for, what, 20 years. 
Alex so now for six easy. months they're not using it, but they used it for 20 years and they were anything well, but balanced. Hey, Alex well, is still and, and everybody he, thinks that. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me disagree with you to a certain extent, Rob. And What's that? that? I'm going to disagree with you to this extent. It has not been my experience because when I used to go over to Fox uh, to mm. do a show and to be the one of the and and usually you would think and I often said going over as a liberal over there was like lambs to the slaughter. In fact, I had a makeup woman put makeup on me one day and she says, "So which way do you go, right or left?" And I said, "I go to the left." She says, "Lots of luck." Uh, <laughs> this is a makeup woman. But whenever I did a show, I found they were very fair to me. You fair, know, and what do you mean by fair? You mean they were nice to you? They were nice. Is they allowed me my opinion. Comes. They didn't berate my opinion. You know, they disagreed with me. Yeah, but you were with on me. with the same guy all the wait, time, wait, right? No, 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 no. That's when I was on over at MSNBC with Tucker Carlson every Friday. There that was go. a different story I, altogether. When, and Tucker when, was very good to me. And Tucker was, a, was as you know, a right winger. Yeah. Last summer, last summer when we were watching all of the hearings going on with um, uh, deputy uh, the, the the FBI, uh, what's his name? You know, all of those things. Fox News doesn't carry them. That's so. How is that? How is that I, not? No. no how is no, that? Look, it's I'm still not, news. I'm, I'm not dis. I'm not disagreeing with you. But what I'm saying is my experience as being a pundit on one of the on their on their network has always been very positive. Well, it just means that they're nice to you. I I think that goes. You know, if they're not, yeah. they're not going to get you back. Well, there was one show <laughs> that I did. This is very strange. One show I did had five people on it. There were five of us, and out of the five, it was a very how balanced is that? panel. How is that? What is that? Wait, wait, what is all that noise going on? I, I have no idea. Hey, we're we're very fair to Phil, don't you think? No. Uh, no, we're not fair to Phil at all. Why should I be? Uh, okay, good. And, and but we I, don't say I, fair and balanced either. Tim, <laughs> and if I listen to Tim on uh, the next show, uh, Amy and uh, Irv, uh, you know, it sounds like a bunch of yammering uh, fishmongers uh, yammering about Trump. Uh, you know, but, but we, but we ever, but they advertise it as such. Well, I mean, right here, right now, I've got two conservatives on this panel. Uh, yes, Patrick, speaking of the other conservative. Okay. <laughs> I will, I will what? Say, whenever I do listen to Amy and Jack, yeah. Back Part of that show, it when Jack goes off on whoever it is, yeah, they're bitching and complaining. He gives them a a, a, a solution, and nobody wants to hear his solution. Yeah, it's because he doesn't fight. do anything about it. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, so, the thing so, is, the thing is that that uh, uh, you know, once I heard uh, Phil on with Amy, and she was going ballistic on Phil, and Phil was just giving his opinion. I mean, I you know, we don't. I get that ballistic with him. What is that picture you're holding up? It's so I put this on GabNet before. This is an actual chart that can be found at mediabiaschart.com. This is the ranking of all of our media, so whether it's conservative or liberal, and the biases and how often they're correct. So let just so that you can't read it really quickly, but from here down, yeah. it's shit. So uh, the yeah. only people you want are the people up here. Yeah, oh, and, yeah. Who, and who's a, and who who who, who did the chart and who's at the top? Um, the top is AP, Reuters, AFP, Bloomberg's, yeah. and then NBC's, ABC, CBS below the line. Now, so that, the that's the, the that's line, their that's their network newscast, not their right. not their but cable news. The top of the line is AP, Reuters, Bloomberg, and AFP. Yeah, okay, I agree with that. The bot the next the next group of people that aren't as good are fact. They are fact based. Uh, Politico, NPR, BBC, New York Times, the Christian Science Monitor, the Wall Street Journal. Who's the at Hill. the bottom? The bottom. Uh, Breitbart, Newsmax, uh, Infowars, WorldTruth.tv, the yeah. S the Inquirer. On the left side of that are great places like Palmer Report, Occupy Democrats, uh, Daily Chaos, New Republic, 
and then I, I want you to know CNN is on the top part of the chart, but but uh, uh, Huffington Post is not in the good section. Yeah, because they it's they've got an agenda. So go to that and look it up. But I've posted this a few times, and this is a 2018 list. So when I talk to you about how I don't like Fox, it isn't because it's Fox. I don't like anything that's under the line of. Hey, it's entertainment. Is no, what, it's not. It's, I just no, want news. No, I want facts. It, 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 I want when news. When they say it, it, when they say it's news, then you have to accept it at, for its value as news and not as entertainment, Phil. No, yes, Patrick. Yeah. Well, no, Infowars uh, and uh, you know, some Fox. of the other bright, you know, uh, Breitbart okay. and some of the other things. That, that's not legitimate news. No, they, it's they, not. They, well, they but they but they pass them, they pass yeah. themselves off as news. Go over uh, to no, news. Go but over, so, so does CNN. Go Crap. over to Newsmax and you'll see that they think they're news. Yes, Patrick. I, I was just going to mention about Infowars um, with Alec Jones. I mean it, that. The fact that they would even put them on that chart at the bottom legitimizes <laughs> them. It, it ain't What's wrong with Alex Jones? <laughs> They're reaching. Right. This, this little teeny corner. Well, uh, I think he, part he, of the he, problem he, with that, why yeah. they're listed on there, is because there are really people out there who believe that those are news stores. Exactly. exactly. There's people that believe that some of it. Mm -hmm. Is that the, yeah. what's, what's the Glenn Beck one? Is that the Blaze or something? Oh, the Blaze. Uh, is that in the bottom right? Yeah, the blaze is down here near Breitbart. So down hey, in this cluster. There's dog people <laughs> out in the forest. <laughs> wait, we see when, yeah. wait till you see where Sinclair Broadcasting falls in. Oh, uh -huh. my God. Falls in. I don't think they're yeah. in. I, no. Uh, uh, no, next uh, year. Uh, it'll be yeah. like it. or, or, or Salem. Tim. Yeah. So I oh, only yeah. Tim, Tim, was, Tim, Tim was trying to say something. And since he ne we never can see him and he never raises his hand... I have to kind of defer to him. Yes, Tim. Uh, the name for your your new show. Uh, what the heck is wrong with Alex Jones? Yeah. There's your show every night. Yeah, well, yeah. You need to be a psychiatrist for that. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, so, uh, I think I think by mentioning even mentioning Alex Jones, we give him more credit than he's due. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, that's right. I mean. Uh, the guy has, if you think about it, no real credibility, but yet there are people, you know, there are people when they see it on TV, they will use something Alex Jones said and say to their friend, well, I heard that blah, blah, blah. And they say, where'd you hear that? And they say, I heard it somewhere on TV. You know? Alex Jones, on his own admission, said he was an entertainer and not. Well, that. he was doing that when his wife was suing him. That well, was his excuse for why he was saying nasty things about her on the air. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, Renee. So, does anybody, any of anybody here, because I I dabble sometime in the Christian Science Monitor, but does anybody read the National Review or the Weekly Standard or the Washington Times? No, I read the Washington Times. You do? Okay, because that's the bottom of acceptable for that side. Well, and we have a whole cluster of fuck ups in in that in that area. We got. Yeah. Democracy Now, The Intercept, the Slate, Daily Beast, Vanity Fair, Mother Jones. Is that down towards the bottom? Is that down? No, towards... that's smack in the middle with their national or with the their American conservative in the Washington Times. Oh, OK. Now, uh, I don't know if the guy is still a publisher of the Washington Times. I think he was named Armistead or, or something like that. And he was uh, uh he, he, I don't know that he was even conservative. He, I thought he was a fair uh, a, conservative a, a, paper. I it's, know a it, paper's it's, conservative. it's a conservative it's, paper. And it was owned yeah. by Sung Young Moon, uh, you know, the Korean guy that had the... Um, uh, the cult. The cult. The cult, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But he had no input into the editorial uh, uh, life of the Washington Times. Hmm. Okay. And I, no. Yeah, I actually used to get the printed one uh, years ago in the 80s when it was available. Yeah. I only read the Beacon. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I mean, um, uh, where we get our news is, uh, it, 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 I'll tell you something, I got to tell you something that hit me the other day, and I, I don't know how to articulate this. I mean, it's strange because I'm in the business of using my verbiage to get points across, but... Uh, I was thinking about 
the, the way this country is divided and how people are so dogmatic about their side. And that I thought that what with elections coming up and everything, a lot of these politicians are trying to keep their base happy. Now, I think the fact that their base expects their politician to keep them happy is one of the reasons we're in the trouble we're in right now. Does that make sense, what I'm saying? In other yes. words, you yeah. should say, okay, we elected you. Now, we elected you to do what you think is best. And if you do something I disagree with, it doesn't mean I'm not going to vote for you again next time. Does that make sense? And that we yeah. need to be, and, and the worst at this are liberals, okay? The, the conservatives have always been dogmatic. But the liberals, except for uh, Patrick, uh, the, the liberals uh, are always like, well, I'm not going to vote for them because he didn't like uh, such and such, you know. Well, you know, I mean, if these guys have to spend their whole time, especially at election time, worrying about what the base at home is going to think, then they're not going to be able to vote their conscience. And, and no, hold on. We want reality. them to vote the way we want them. We don't give a fuck what their conscience is. Well, yeah, but that's... We didn't put them there for their conscience. But that's the reason they're voting so badly is because they're voting how they think you want them to vote. Because yeah. they're your ba you know, you're their base. Uh, well, exactly I'm seeing that both on both sides, more so this election right now, just yeah. even on the local stuff. I mean, am I making so, sense here that we're really kind yeah. of at fault for that? Yeah, because they're, they're kowtowing to, the, to, to yeah. everybody. Yeah, right. but I isn't... Said. Yes, uh, let, let, uh, let Tim speak since he doesn't have a camera. Uh, the representatives, don't, they don't take an oath to their voters. They take an oath to the Constitution in the country, Right. Yeah, and I think we've got that turned around now. Yeah, and it's all too too much, uh, too many opinion polls. Uh, people know too much about individual issues. Too yeah, but I think more. I think oh, the everybody. worst the worst at this are liberals because liberals yeah, are well, very dogmatic. Except for one thing, the liberals will not support their peers once they drop below a certain ethical level. And by the way, least be, the, yeah, go ahead. Least of the, uh, uh, the guy from the, the comedian that, that we made him leave. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Franken. Franken. Al Franken, uh, where they'll they'll go to the ends of the earth to support McConnell and Ryan. What a what a wimp Ryan is! Can't even fire a priest. And uh, supporting the the, they're, they're, the the White House is basically threatening everybody that you do what I want. So the the White House is now. The voters now moved into the White House, and everybody around him has to do what he wants. And then he's got a way to put pressure on him because yeah. he's but got all, money. All I'm saying is, is that we should we 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 shouldn't have uh, have to have our politicians second guess us. Sometimes a guy is going to vote in a way that I don't agree with. Okay, right, absolutely. Does that mean absolutely. I throw the baby out with the bathwater? Hello, it depends Jeff. on what it is. I mean, if you're not pro-choice. I'm probably not going to look at you. Well, no, no, you no, know, no, no. You're going to have to really, you're going to really have a whole lot of work to do in order to get on my yeah, radar. But, 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 but what I'm saying is, why, why would it matter whether you're pro-choice or not? It's already the law of the land. It's not yeah, the law well, of the land. They want to change that. It's not no, the law no. of the land. I think we're talking about some. I think we're talking about something. I'm not talking about that, uh, Renee. I'm just talking about when a politician decides that he's going to vote his conscience uh, and uh, to hell be damned with his constituency. Uh, I don't think most politicians have that ability any longer. They're too worried about getting reelected and keeping their jobs because we're but too judgmental vote. about that. So, Rather than say, so you're okay, talking about like you're talking about like a moral compass. Yeah. They, they've lost the moral compass in just trying to keep the base satisfied. They'll yeah. Well, that's vote any which way which will get him elected. Right. right. McCain voted his conscience on uh, several things, even though yeah. I didn't agree with him. Uh, he, he voted the way he felt he should vote. And McCain was, was, always, right. was always one of the most honest politicians yep. in that respect. However, yep. when he ran for president, he sold out. Well, he admitted that he I made admitted a mistake. It, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and, it was, and it was a, he it, even have a choice. Tell you the truth, I, really, I, I would have liked to have seen him pick Lieberman. 
I, you know? no, did he really have a choice? Or no, I that mean, had nothing to do with it, Phil. That's not what I'm talking about. Up. He sold out because he was very much, uh, as, as a Republican goes, he was a liberal Republican, okay? If you want to say there is such a thing, Rockefeller is another good example of that. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, when he was running, all of a sudden sold out all his ideals just to try and win the election and say what he <laughs> felt people wanted to hear. And that but was the first time I was really disappointed in McCain. He gave up 30 days before the election. He just gave up. He, he, uh, he walked away from even trying. I uh, think he saw the futility in trying to win. Yeah, okay. but you don't... Yeah, uh, Jeff? He, he, oh, yeah, I, he was totally frustrated, and, and he felt he, he had no chance of winning. I think he wanted to save the country from from uh, his vice presidential running mate. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean that that was a a big mess on their part, you know. Yeah. Uh, that cost him. But uh, you know, thirty days, forty five days before the election, he just gave up. And uh, the same thing with Romney. Uh, he basically a month before uh, the election, he just. Uh, it could be break. argued. It could be argued that you know once you start losing, you get loser's breath, and you give up. And I think like uh, Hillary Clinton gave up a month before the election. Uh, Trump didn't give up, even though every, everything uh, he thought that he was going to lose. Yeah. He actually thought he was going to lose. He probably would have been happier. But bottom line was. He didn't give up. He, but, he but, fought to the last minute. By the way, for, for people who are watching the video of this show, look at Jeff's shirt. Isn't that a great color? He looks good in coral. Yeah, that's a great color. That's terrific. Yeah. But all I'm saying is, is that you know, uh, I think we're we're too dogmatic about our politicians, and we should say to them, look, we understand you got to vote your conscience, and that's we we admire that more than voting to, to make me happy and to say what I want to hear. But aren't they supposed to represent the people that uh, there are the their uh, 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 only, only in that Only in the respect that their job is to bring back the pork. Now, the guy from Vermont, uh, what's his name? Wait a minute, uh, do you notice, do you notice Bernie. Patrick has his hand Bernie. up? Do you yeah, notice Patrick has his hand up? one point. Uh, yes. Bernie Sanders <laughs> voted for uh, Second Amendment gun rights because his constituents in Vermont mm -hmm. were for uh, the Second Amendment, even though he personally is, pro is most likely against it. Uh, so did Bernie Sanders do the right no, thing? No, Bernie Sanders did, did exactly the right thing. He voted the conscience of his constituency and the That's needs of right. his constituency. That's right. Not his, not his conscience. But what I'm saying is that we have a tendency to be too dogmatic in our politics, about our politicians, and and anytime they stray, even slightly stray, oh, I don't want to vote for him. Oh, I hate him, you know. And we're to, we're to, we're to blame for a lot of this. Let's not blame the congressmen and senators because we're the ones that vote for the congressmen and senators. Patrick's had his hand up forever, and oh, God knows yes, there's Patrick. enough in his body that isn't working. I don't want that to freeze up. Go ahead, Patrick. Well, you know, I disagree with you on Hillary. Uh, giving up because I think her giving up was she assumed that she was going to win. Right. So that's why she kind of let everything slide because there was just an assumption. And I thought she, I think, I think everybody here thought oh. she was going to win. I don't think there was one person that I would have talked to or could have heard the sound of my voice on your show that would have said she was going to lose. Yeah. So. I, I don't think she had loser's breath. I think she had winner's breath early. And yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. You know, you know how she could have won that election? If when Trump was walking around behind her during that debate, she had just turned around and said what she said she felt like saying, back off, creep. Yep. <laughs> well, if she had said that, I think she would have won the election. Anybody disagree no, with me on that? I do. I see what we're not and Hillary, whoever candidate A or candidate B, it doesn't really matter at this particular point in time. I think we all have to play the fact that Russia, excuse me, Putin wanted to fuck over both Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton, and he went for it in a big way. And I don't know if we can say that we actually got a clear election this past election, I, but I. I 
had but more I, to do uh, yes, with, with fucking us over. And, uh, you know, I mean, some Facebook ads from the Russians. Wait a minute. How did, how did China oh. fuck us up during that election? I, I, I Apparently, I missed something. Oh, uh, what's happening is, is China is stealing uh, our, uh, our uh, intelligence secrets. They uh, they've hacked into and you don't uh, think we're government and you don't think we're doing the same thing to China, not not like this. Uh, and, and, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I disagree with you. We're doing it to them too. Uh, no, I think Patrick's going to agree with me. SG, wait a minute. SG, SG, who hasn't called the show tonight, is writing and he says Hillary thought she was entitled. Didn't go to Wisconsin. Told PA they'd lose their jobs. Didn't give uh, Michigan their due. Instead, stayed in Iowa. So anyway, West yes, Virginia, Patrick. She Patrick, said she was going to close the coal plants. Patrick, but you people, but everybody around Hillary said, "Can Patrick no, don't fight back?" Patrick's got his don't hand up. Don't fight back. Oh, don't poor come Patrick's to his hand. Level. I feel so sorry for Patrick's hand. Go well, ahead, you Patrick. Sat me down twice hand. for Patrick. Well, Renee, remember it. If the idea that Michelle Obama said they go low, we go high, so yep. that's what Hillary followed. What the what the quote good girl thing, rather than than trying to fight, um, you know. But um, uh, what was the other thing I was going to mention? Being out of my hand, fell asleep. My brain. <laughs> are are they connected to? <laughs> but I made a good point with Sometimes. So oh, I know what it was. Uh, on the on the spying thing, Phil, um, I think it probably a hundred percent to a hundred percent that China is spying on us and we're spying on them, and the Russians are spying on us. We're spying on them. Iran spying on us. This we're morning, Patrick, them. this morning's news report put the value of what they're stealing from us at six hundred billion a year. Where was that? What paper? Uh, it was, uh, uh, it might have been Fox. I don't know. Ah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, hey, what's the difference? Uh, hey, the I difference is the Fox hey, lies. They nah. are stealing intellectual see, property. You, I think, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't understand that. You want to you listen to what Tim said so that you can get educated, Phil? Go for but, it, Tim. The day that Tim educates me. But well, I, I th no, it, I'm just sharing it. They're, they're stealing a lot of our non-governmental and governmental intellectual property. That's right. They're, we don't they necessarily, no we may steal their government secrets, but we're not necessarily stealing, in, in most cases, their They're commercial. Right. They have secrets. no regard for our... Uh, well, wait a minute. Hold, hold on a Copyrights second. Copyrights or patents. Yeah, on, the other, yeah. on the other hand, you never, you, we, 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 never, we never accused, uh, when, when they sure. were doing it, we never accused the Japanese of doing it. They basically built all their technology in recent years on stuff that we had already come up with. But what the Japanese did is they went and they observed our society and they said, what can we make that these people will buy? Uh, now, did they reverse engineer a few things? Probably. But, you know, for the most part, they didn't downright and steal And then let's give them a name that makes no sense at all, like Walkman. Jack Bishop joined us. Yes, Jack. Good to be here. Yeah. Good to be here. Spending some time on the ramble. Uh, I'd like to remind everybody that we gave this election up because of a screwed up double jointed system that no other intelligent democracy has. Who got the most popular votes? I hear Hillary bits. Hillary. Hey, right. Hillary. You know, right. You're crying over spilt milk, Jack. I'm, no, I'm talking about what's right and what's wrong and what's wrong. No, 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 no. You're, no, you're, no, you're, no, you're, no, you're no, dreaming. No, you're dreaming. no, I, no. Sit, bozo, sit. Oh, oh. <laughs> it, you know, there we go. Hey, next you'll be calling me Jew. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll so, call you Jaime, and you can call me nigga in that square. Hey, Jack, I got, hey, Jack, I, got a solution. I got a solution for you, Jack. What's that? That's, that's just change the rule. Very simple rule. You can't win the presidential election unless you win both the popular the vote. Popular and electoral, if it doesn't work, you limit it to the top two nominees, do a revote, and and then well, and then you well, go with the answer, even well, if Tim, it's off a lot, but you get a second Tim, chance. Tim, why do we need an electoral college anyway? No, we well, don't. 
ridiculous. So that the smaller states get representation. Why do we allow? And, and, and so, and, and so, why and should the smaller states? Wait a minute, so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Why should the smaller states get representation? They're smaller because states. The there United are less states people no. there. America. United States of America. Yeah, but Why like, we but, allow but, 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 you don't give you don't give you don't give a Nevada that's got like you know I don't know how many people they got now, but they used to have like three hundred fifty thousand people, and that was it. The well, same get, representation you know, as you give New York City because you it should be by they population. They same number of electoral college votes as uh, as the. Uh, as California All I'm saying North? is fuck the small states. So hold on a second. It isn't, it, so first off, I don't care if it's a small state or not. It doesn't matter, well, make it a difference. You know, Jeff had his hand up a while Stop. back, and I didn't even get to go to him because uh, because Jack at, jumped at, in. At the convention. Wait a minute. Shut up, Phil. It's Jeff. Jeff had something he wanted to say, and he raised his hand, which nobody That's else right. does. You got to raise your hand. Yes, Jeff. His state would get screwed, too. <laughs> Here's my question. We have all of these patents. How come Mr. Trump isn't out there firing all these manufacturers that are using Chinese violation yep. patents? He's put a tariff on it. It's not a tariff. When, the, when you have a situation like that, you throw the product out. You yeah, see, well, get the hell out of the United States. Well, by the way, by the way, let, let me stop. Stop there. Why a second. are you so let, let me bring, let me, let me bring this up. You're it was so on my. It was on my. You. It was on my newscast today. It was on my breaking newscast today. Fake newscast. This isn't fake news. <laughs> a state-owned well, Chinese it'll... construction company, MICC yeah. Group, said last Thursday it had formalized plans to develop a theme park in Lido, Indonesia. The Trump Organization has existing licensing agreements for other components of the project to put a Trump name on a golf course, luxury hotel, and residential development for the premises. Then the Chinese, the other day, in order to help save the project, went in and throw, threw in $500 million at precisely at the time that Trump said he was going to help a Chinese company out. Isn't That's there some? Don't, don't right? you smell a conspiracy? Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, he saved fifty Chinese jobs. Where make China great again? No, <laughs> the reason he did it is so that the Chinese would invest the five hundred million dollars in the Lido project, Phil. So now we're back to a monuments clause. You know, uh, yeah. And what what's happened to the fact that the president of the United States shouldn't be doing business? I mean, uh, yeah, it, it wasn't be a law. Yeah. It wasn't a law, people. Stop thinking this. You have some, just because the people in front of him had morals and values and, and agreed, a, had an agreement for all of these things, he doesn't have that same alliance. These are not laws. He doesn't have to live by them if they're not laws. So stop thinking he does. He which isn't means, going to. Which means we need to fix this when he's gone. Thank you. It's going to take a lot of fixing. Going to take a well, lot of fixing. And, and that was the statement I was trying to make about Phil. You know what? There should be no electoral college because they have representation in the House and the Senate, and that's where the work should be done in the House and the Senate. Not, they should not have overpowering voters, but it doesn't really matter because we're all at the same point. With Citizens United in play, we're all fucked, and until you all figure that out, we're in trouble. Hey, uh, we got to take the big money. We got to keep. We got to stop talking about voters. We got to start talking about. You got to follow the money when, in the elections too. That's where the big problem is. Who's the money? Now I that's why I love Tim. He cuts right to the chase. But Hillary spent a lot more money than Trump to get elected. It doesn't matter. We have to get rid of Citizens United. We can't have a decent conversation about our elections until we get rid of the people who are pumping money into our system at a huge and an enormous amount. Jack has and, his and hand up. A lot up. of it foreign money. Jack has his hand a up. A lot of it foreign. Jack has his hand up. Yes, Jack. If we want honest government, honest elections, we've got to take private money out of it entirely. There should, be a, there should be a central tool that candidates draw from. I, I say everything from 
uh, congressional districts on up because if they're going to be bought, I want them to be bought by the American people. So that means only the standard guys can continue to get reelected. What do you uh, mean? No. You mean? The, the how, how do you part. figure that? What because, do you mean? Because, uh, you know, with this limited money, uh, you won't uh, you won't be able to get anybody new in there. Uh, you right. know, gonna be all Everybody's on a level playing field. Why? No. Why Everybody's on a level playing field. Look, it's it's simple, Phil. How do you Politics. qualify to get the money? We can figure that out because we're going to get smart guys like you and smart guys like me locked in a room working it out. Well, they've already got it worked out. They sh they get money. They can get money from the commission now. Those rules are in place already. It's but it's a matter of getting the soft money and the dark money out of it. If they get enough votes, they get that money, I guess. Uh, didn't they, uh, well, they have to be Anderson, nominated. When when Anderson, so uh, Pat Patrick has his hand up. Did 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 Tim just say dark money? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I think my brain's gonna fall out of my head. Again. The only person it's here not, that has any dark it's money it's is Jack Bishop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, my money is very dark here lately. <laughs> it's all in gabnet bucks. <laughs> there yeah. you go. That's vaporware. <laughs> That's not dark money. <laughs> Can I write that down? Can I vaporware? I like hey, vaporware. Hey, Jack, it's better than being in the red. So true. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the deal is, is if you want actual one vote, one person, you have to go back to the Supreme Court, get rid of Citizens United, turn around and get rid of the Electoral College, and then you've got one person, one vote. And until and those are both extremely heavy lifts and that you got couldn't 40, possibly you be got done. Eight states that aren't going to vote for that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Patrick. Right. States are more important. Patrick. Renee, the Supreme Court can't do shit about the Electoral College. Well, that's probably true, but they can do something about the Supreme Court, I mean, about the um, Citizens United, because they're uh, okay. the one who put, put put Citizens United in place. Let me put, let me, right. let me join in here and, and boil this down to what I've always said. One of the reasons I don't know why I go out and vote, especially in New York State, is that my vote doesn't count. Okay, because if one vote made the difference, then I'd say fine. But one vote can't make the difference. My vote is then distilled down into a handful of votes called our electoral votes in this state. So, yep. so I don't. My vote doesn't count. And so I want. Yeah. I want a country. Or I want a country where my vote counts. The person wasn't who gets the most votes wins, and that's it. Hey, wasn't there an election uh, that uh, went into a recount and uh, uh, the guy got one extra vote and uh, after the recount? And yeah, then no, they it, was a, it, was a it, it was a local race. It didn't have to do with electoral yeah, colleges or no, anything. I understand, but the one vote. Uh, yeah, no, no, but, no, but that's, it's just, bullshit, Phil, because that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the national elections where you have an electoral college and my vote doesn't count because if I don't vote, it's still going to. You know, it does as long as they yeah. vote the way you yeah. want them to. Y yes. Uh, so you have two centers yeah. with the Electoral College. You have the two coasts. Okay. That yeah. Vote yeah. One yeah. Way, blah, and blah, then blah. the rest of the blah, country blah. gets fucked. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yes, uh, quickly, Jack, because you got to go. And <laughs> well, I, I know exactly go. how you feel. You know, my leftist vote does not count in my district. Yeah. Period. Period. That's it. Hey, listen, th that's it. We've run out of time here. Uh, uh, much, uh, much love and safety to you, Renee, out there in Hawaii, because, uh, you know, uh, we don't want you to blow up. Uh, Phil, thank you I'll so much. Back. Good to have you back this evening. <laughs> Kevin, great to have you here all the time. Jeff, glad you made it in. Uh, P Patrick Blazik, uh, always a pleasure. Rob, have a safe trip home, okay? Thank you. Uh, all right. And uh, t Tim, thank you for calling. I'm sure we'll hear you on the next show after this. And Jack Bishop, thank you for having called. Uh, if everybody would, would you give a big wave goodbye? And then they can all see how happy you are that you did a fun show. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Uh, that's our Citizens Panel for tonight. And there'll be another one coming up next on the intersection uh, with uh, Jack and Amy. Uh, and then at uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, there really isn't a citizen panel there, but there are a lot of fun folks talking about fun stuff, uh, and that will be at midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Tomorrow night, 9.30, 
It's Damian Chaplin, and it's The Exchange right here on GabNet, followed quickly by me at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. Bye.